हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द आंसर की ऑफ आईआईटी आई जैम मैथमेटिकल स्टेटिस्टिक्स 2021 इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर एट नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ व्हिच वाज आस्क इन दिस पेपर हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व देम इन अ वेरी क्विकली मैनर माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर गर वर्किंग द स्कूल ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स स्थापना इंस्टीट्यूट यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो दिस लिंक फॉर फाइंडिंग द वेरियस वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू दिस कोर्सेज आर देयर सो वट इज गिवन टू यू दैट सीरीज दिस इज कन्वर्जिस एब्सोल्यूटली सो ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट वेन द सीरीज कन्वर्जिस एब्सोल्यूटली दिस इम्प्लाइज सीरीज कन्वर्जेंट भी वाइल कन्वर्स मे और मे नॉट बी ट्रू हाउ एवर हाउ यू कैन प्रूव दैट विच ऑर द फॉलोइंग सीरीज इज डाइवर्जेंट भी दैट्स अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल आर देयर वट इज दैट दिस इज नथिंग बट द सब सीक्वेंस ऑफ दिस ए एन बिकॉज टू ऑफ एन इज अ स्पार्ट ऑफ दिस ए एन सो एवरी सब सीक्वेंस ऑफ द कन्वर्जेंट सीरीज इज कन्वर्जेंट सो दिस आंसर इज कन्वर्जेंट बट वी नीड अ डाइवर्जेंट how you can prove this is again we can start from their absolute convergent so we can start from here you can apply the triangular inequality i can write like this way so and since this what is that this is my convergent series because it is given to you that this is convergent absolutely an plus 1 is also be the convergent series because this is convergent for all the values of the n so the sum of the convergent series is also their convergent Similarly, you can see prove that a of n this is also be the convergent because this is a part of the cube are there. Now for here, how you can prove that whether this is convergent or so it means all are convergent. So right answer is here. But how you prove that it is a divergent series? So you can see I can write like here. So since this is given to you convergent, so it means our target is to check whether this is a divergent or not. How you can prove that? We all knows that n is always be greater than of the this. since we need of this so i can multiply this by log of n this is for all n greater than of equal to 2 so i can multiply both side by log of n this is here now i can write this as 1 by n of this which is a greater than of the n log of natural log of the n now i can put as a series how you can prove that this is a convergent or divergent i can take this as a u of n is this that is by using the comparison test i can take v of n is 1 by n what is the un upon vn this is nothing but my 1 by n and this this is goes to the zero as n approaches infinity so since this is a finite value so what is that this is a behave a like but you can see this is a divergent series by p test so once it is a divergent it means this is also be the divergent are there so hence one is the convergent second is the divergent so the right answer is here other otherwise you can also apply this as of the another way that is by using the integral test also what is that this is nothing but 1 by x l of n x of the dx start from the 2 to infinity what is the integration of this this is nothing but 1 by n of l of n so what is the answer of this again infinity so that's a divergent series look at the another question is there so that's a conditional probability are there so it means we have to apply the bayes theorem so if you read the statement very carefully it is given to you that the two coins are tossed independently and you selected the on one if the two heads appear if the two tails are appear so it means either it has appear the two head either appear as a one head like either of the case like this way or either this is as a two tail what is the probability of getting the two heads so it is given to you that point 2 and the point 3 of the probability of getting the head so the total probability of this is point 06 what is the probability of the tail is point 0.8 this is point 0.7 so here is pi point 0.56 similarly one tail that is a point 2 head otherwise is a tail and while the second case is point 0.8 and this is point 0.3 so what is that this is point 0.14 and this is point 0.24 this is nothing but my point 0.38 also you can see the sum of them will be a 1 now once it will be there you have to select the on one and you have to find the ball which is of the white color so what is the probability of selecting the white ball from the on one on one consists of the two white two black so the probability is 2 by 4 this is 1 by 4 and for the third case is three three white ball and the one by black ball so 3 by 4 is there now what you can do is you can simply multiply them this is 0.12 by 4 this is 0.38 divided by 4 this is my 1.68 divided by 4 what is the total of them will be 2.18 so what is the required answer of that this is the on one that is this part divided by this total so this divided by here so if you divide them this is nothing but this is the 
right answer look at the last question are here so it is given to you like this way so that's a very simple are there so all of you know that how you can compute the expected value this is x into f of x but if you apply this this at like here so that's a very a very lengthy calculation are there but it's a mcq you have to apply within a one minute so what is that this is here so what is the logic behind is that you have to think about this what will happen if you have to integrate from minus f a to plus a this will be zero when the function is my odd and this is a non zero then the function is even so since we have given as a zero and so on but we need a false it means if this is a zero if i prove that this is a odd function then the answer will be true so look about that what is the axis minus infinity to plus infinity so this is a odd function what is the mode of axis this is always be a even function because here another thing is mod x square this is again a even function what is the sign x upon mod x so what is the answer of this it will be either as a sign 1 and either as a sign of minus 1 depending on that whether it is x is 0 and here so it what is the meaning of that this is my odd function now look about this answer sir what is the mod of x what is the x if if i just clear this one so what is that what is the x is odd what is the mod x is even so if you product them it will be the odd function and the expected value of here is because what is that f of x is my even function because it's a mod of here so the product is a zero that's a correct statement but we need a false x is my odd x square is a even so the product of the even and odd is my odd so the answer is my zero that's also be the correct statement look about this mod of x is a even sin of x by mod x is my odd function so this is the product of them is again the odd function the integration will be a zero that's also there so it means the right answer is here how you can see what is the here is even function sin square now it's a square are there so it means this is also the even function so what is that expected value of them it will never be a zero so it means this is the false statement This is the way you can solve these three questions are there. In our next class, we will see how you can solve them question number one, two, three, and four for uh, for the mathematical statistics are there. Till then, you can simply follow this link for finding the various video related to them. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.